Hi, congratulations on your new RV. We're really excited for you. Please make sure before you're signing that you bring the following items with you. If you are a cash buyer, please make sure that you bring a cashier's check, no personal checks at time of signing, or you may bring actual cash. If you're a finance customer, please make sure that you bring proof of insurance listing your specific lien holder. If you need that information, please call us ahead of time. Also, make sure that you bring all valid driver's license of all persons that will be listed on the title. If you have a trade that you're trading in with us, please make sure that you bring your 10 day payoff as well as your title and all persons who will be listed on the title of that trade. Um, arrive 30 minutes early before your appointment time so we can properly inspect your unit and also make sure that you have the fridge on and running prior to arrival. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 810-686-0710. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Hello, this is Mike with Trayvon's RV Center here to congratulate you on your purchase of your Intech Explorer. I'm here to walk you around your unit, show you how to use a few things to get the best out of your camping experience. Let's start by talking about arriving at the campsite. Parking space shouldn't be any problem. What I want you to think about is where your power hookup is. Make sure you park accordingly so your power cord can reach facilities at the campsite and for your bed to come down. Make sure you leave plenty of room for that to come down. If you arrive at the campsite, first thing you're gonna do is level your unit. You have this little hand crank here. I do, to raise or lower, I do recommend maybe getting a stick on level, putting it on the side here, that way you can tell when your unit's level. Once you're level, next thing you do is stabilize your unit. On the back of your unit here, you have these stabilizing jacks. You point your foot down, and hand crank your stabilizing jacks down. Now you may need to adjust this foot as you come down. I also recommend jack pads. Get a couple of jack pads for the ground. They're gonna protect your feet of your stabilizing jacks from dirt and debris and hot black top. Keep them from sinking into the ground. You're gonna go ahead and run these down just until they're taut. Remember, you don't wanna change the levelness of your unit, you just wanna stabilize it. So once you've got both of these down in the back, we can go ahead and hook up our power. We have this long 30 amp cord. At the end of 30 amp, should you need it, is a 30 to 110 adapter. Got our power hooked up. Let me go ahead and set the unit up for camping. Start by lowering your bed. Unlock these. Lift and turn this handle. And then lower your bed. Once your bed's down, take these corners, pull them down over the edges, and head inside your unit. I'm gonna go in from back here, that way we've got a little bit of light. Your ramp will come down. Step up into our unit. Now you got this long pole here. Curved end there is gonna be at the top. This is this little piece here. It's gonna snap right in there. Once that snaps in, lift it up. Make sure you have this pointing up. Press it forward, push in your buttons, and lock in your bed. Now these pieces here will roll up. And there's Velcro. Right here, you can snap that, roll them all down. Yeah, I just want to show you, we have your mattress right there. Just need to clean this out really good for you. If you get your bed hooked up, we're going to go back outside. And we're going to come over here to your grill. Let me push this back in. At the bottom here is a little button you have to pull, a little lever you have to pull down in order to close this. So again, put your stopper back on here. So you pull down on this, lift up on this, and you pull this out. That will lock out. In order to close it, you have to lift this up. So you have your grill here, it's a little storage. The little bottles of propane can twist on here, or you can get a hose and a propane and hook up a big tank. Up here, you will hand light your grill. Set this to light, 
There's a spark to turn that on. Make sure these metal pieces are lifted up in order to close this. Let me show you how this comes off here. So we lift it up. We'll pull off here. Then come over and connect these holes right onto here. outdoor table for the unit. Here's a fridge freezer. Whatever temperature you set it at, tell how cold it gets. A couple of 110s out here as well. And then to close this back up, lift this up off here. Tuck it back in here. Make sure you lift this handle. And it'll push closed up until here, and then you have to pull down on this handle in order to close it. Here's your outdoor light. I'll send you a separate video on the Batwing awning setup. Your spare tire. Come back around the outside here. Make sure these corners are pulled down. Your power, your cable, and this is prepped for a uh, solar panel. If you plug a solar panel in here, it'll charge your batteries. Speaking of battery, stored right inside here. Check your battery post now and then. Make sure them are nice and tight. You are bouncing a house down the road. Make sure to keep these locked when you're not at the campsite. And your front stabilizing jacks. I forget you do have four on this size. If you decide to get a propane, here is a holder for it. And you can store a propane tank right inside here. Well, it covers everything out here. Let's take a look inside your unit. We'll go in through the entry doorway. First thing I want you to note is where the fire extinguisher is. Make sure that you and everyone that's camping with you knows that the fire extinguisher is located by the entry doorway. Your speakers, storage here, more storage up here. Your smoke alarm. Come down here to your cable in. If you want to set a TV up in here, you can set a 12 volt or a 110 plug in. There's also USB ports, and this is your 110 with GFCI reset on here. Down here to your sound system. So we hold that in. Change it from Bluetooth to AM FM. Scan for channels, might not pick too many up in here. Anyway, zone one is indoors, shut zone one off. Play zone two for outdoor music. Auxiliary hookup, just touch that to mute, hold it in to shut it off. Up here in your vent, you will hand crank open. Power vent. You hit this here, it automatically opens up for you. Turns your fan on, shut your power off, and it'll close. And then lastly over here, your AC. Simply crank that up, and cool it off in here in no time. You do have a remote control. If you're laying down in bed, you wanna control this max air vent. There's all your lighting from indoors and outdoors. One more. Here's your porch light. Down here, another 110. And of course, all of your tie downs. About covers everything on the unit. Let's go ahead and close it up and act like we're leaving the campsite. We're going to put your mattress back up in here. And then I'm going to show you how to close the bed up. So, with your mattress back up in here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pull this mattress forward. Reach up here, push in and pull this forward. And have this metal piece, pull that off there, store this right to the side. And have that metal piece 
under your mattress. Push your mattress back up. And go ahead and sew these panels. Zip these panels up. That'll hold your mattress when we lift it up. Come outside the unit, untuck your corners. I'll lift this up. Hand tuck around the edges. Closed up. Let's unhook any cable, unhook our power, bring up our stabilizing jack. We'll close our exterior door. It's real light, so if we just lift it up. Lock that in. Go inside and shut off all your interior lighting. See how you're set. Show your lighting off. And head on home. Again, we thank you guys so much for your purchase. Hope you enjoy this Explorer for many years to come. Happy camping.